What's good, guys? So, we are heading to Twin Branch Dam today, which is uh, near Mishawaka. It's on the St. Joe River. It's a place that I've fished before, not before this year, uh, but I fished it this year for the first time. And it is just a magical spot for catching steelhead uh, during the right times of the year. I'll put those in pictures somewhere up of those. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have the GoPro at the time, so uh, those aren't on footage. But anyway, regardless. We're gonna go down there and we're gonna try to fish for some other species. Steelhead aren't running right now. They probably won't run this summer. I'm um, kinda in some traffic, so that's why I figured I'd do my intro now. I know there'll be a bunch of people down there. Uh, the fishing has been really good on the St. Joe lately. Uh, I caught some above the dam. I haven't been below the dam yet, so hopefully we can get in some big ones. But I brought a little bit of a secret weapon. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I got the kayak. So. Stick with me. I'm going to throw up a little bit of footage here. You can see some of the modifications on my kayak. I'm not really going into all the details. I just got a cheaper kayak and added some stuff to it to make it easier for me to use. So I plan on upgrading soon, but stay tuned for that. Hopefully that happens this year, maybe next year. I don't know. And we're still in traffic, so hopefully we'll be there in the next 10 minutes. I'll see you at the spot and uh, we'll get on them. Well, it definitely smells fishy. I'm going to have to get used to the camera angle here. First kayak send. Hope we can get in the first kayak fish. So one of the reasons why I wanted to do this like this is because there's all these islands out here that I know don't get re fished really. So I wanna, I wanted to be able to bring my kayak and kind of park on these islands, which is what I'm gonna do right here. That culvert over there looks nice too. And so I'm gonna park here and get out and fish a little bit. Got one. Knew there'd be one under that log. Massive rocky. Cool. Well, there's the first catch of the day right there. Big old red eye rock bass. Nice. Beautiful fish. He's good. <laughs> well, I could probably spend all day right here in this spot i'm not gonna because uh i got the kayak so i'm gonna do some more exploring got one little one little small mouth well i just said we were gonna go for one big one rather than a bunch of little ones and then we catch probably the smallest small mouth in a, of the week <laughs> that little guy <laughs> all right well where there's one see now we're somewhere the water is super calm i could probably sit here all day in the shade there's one another little guy oh spit it that's okay I'm just trying to burn these little guys in so I can get back out there for a bigger one. Alright, let's test my, uh... That was a pretty good cast. Got one. Eh, a little better. I might use the net on this guy. Eh, yeah, I'll, I'll be, be nice to him. I don't want to lose this one. Lost too many in a row. There we go. Still got some fight left in her. Looked right in the top of the mouth. Nice little small mouth. There's a bunch of something rolling around me, like carp or something. Oh, there's a fish. That's a good take. That feels like a better fish. He's digging. And does he know he's hooked? It feels heavy, whatever it is. Oh, he found out, he learned, he learned. 
It feels like a catfish almost. Might just be a mondo bass. That's a good smallie. That's a good smallie. I'll take that. Look at that. I told you it felt like a bigger take. Still not giant. Still uh, not quite the fish we're looking for, but that'll do. Felt like a heavy take and he stayed down. A powerful fish, that's for sure. There he is. A little beat up, but could be spawning. Thank you, sir. Don't tell your friends. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Moving the kayak. Yes, baby. That might be a two pounder. Net ready. That's a good in. That's a good fishy. That's a solid small mouth. Maybe not quite two. All right, all right. I had you in the net so you would chill out. Chill out. I'm gonna take care of you, buddy. Nice. Just choked that Ned rig. Absolutely destroyed it. There we go. Nice smally. Not quite two pounds, but that was a good fish. Destroyed this worm. We might need to change the worm out. That's a good fish. He hit it really hard. He's digging. Another decent little smallmouth. Get him in the boat and deal with him and then probably scoot out of this spot. Another decent one. Still not the pig we want, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? It'd be nice if I could get a good park right here. I don't know if it's gonna happen though, without really roughing up my kayak. I should have brought some rope. That might hold us for a little bit. Anyway, maybe one more fish. A little nibble. There's one. Oh my goodness. That was a cool jump. Maybe let him have some more drag. Another good one under this bridge. Hello, oh, buddy. Just trying to help. All right. Just hooked him in the tongue. His word he got in the gills. All right. Another good, decent little one. Probably a good 13, 13 inches or so. And I said that I wished I had brought a rope, and I do have a rope. Quick tip. I know I'm a novice kayaker, but when you are kayaking, always remember some kind of rope. You never know when you're gonna have to moor off to something or portage, some stuff like this. Always be prepared, Scott's motto. I think there was a snowmelt just now. Ate something right behind me. This water is just too slow for me to want to fish it. There's something eating right there. I wonder if I can get into one real quick. Alright guys, that is going to be it for me. I stayed out way too late, but I got two videos on it. I'm sure that wind noise is just terrible. But, loading up the kayak. We're getting out of here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. 
I love you guys. Hit that bell, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.